I take notes in Evernote. I make lists and capture ideas. And I like to share the way I use Evernote with you in these videos. A lot of times I focus on major updates that Evernote is doing or some major feature rollout. But from time to time, I also like to share smaller features that don't seem to get a lot of attention as others, but are very powerful to use. I'm Dave Edwards. Today, I want to remind you or let you know about two features that I find very helpful inside of Evernote. Occasionally, I'm in a situation where it's just not practical to type out notes on my iPad's keyboard or on my phone. So I take a note on a paper. Now, I could type them later into Evernote, but another option is to use the camera on my smartphone. Here's how you do it. First of all, launch the in-app camera on your mobile phone. Tap the upward arrow on the new note button. And then tap take a photo or scan a document. The image will be saved as a new note. Now, it's important to hold the camera steadily over the document or card so that the edges are visible inside the frame. The camera automatically detects, focuses, and takes a snapshot of the document. Someone I know scans all of their receipts that way. Another thing to do when I'm in a meeting or someone is posting ideas and sheets of paper that are then posted on the wall, you know, kind of a brainstorming session. Well, rather than write everything down, I use my camera on my phone, take a picture of them. Now I can insert that picture into my notes or just put them into a note of their own. And don't forget about the Evernote Web Clipper. Use this Evernote extension in your browser to save things you see on the web right into your Evernote account. Even if you put a handwritten note inside Evernote, your note is searchable. Yeah, the text in pictures are searchable by Evernote's search engine. Anything as a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF file, are read by Evernote system. Now, the clearer the handwriting, the more likely it will be accurate. My handwriting is actually kind of bad. So it works for me, but not 100%. And it doesn't just recognize English. Last time I checked, Evernote could read 11 different handwritten languages. So I'm wondering, do you use these tools? If so, how and why? Post a comment below. I'd love to read them. I'm Dave Edwards.